Oh, I'm crooked. Hey friends, Courtney here with Southern Owls, and today I'm going to be making a sunflower themed swag. I'm so excited. Hey guys, come on in. How's everyone doing today? I am opening up my 21 inch paint sticks right now. Um, you can get these at your local hardware store, anywhere that sells paint. So I grabbed mine from Home Depot because it's in the same shopping center. Hey, hi guys, how are you doing today? I am making a custom order. Uh, we're gonna do some swag. So I'm using my 21 inch um, paint sticks to create the base. Hi, good morning. Hey guys, good afternoon. How's everyone doing today? So I'm going to start adding my pipe cleaners right to this 21 inch paint stick. And I add them about three and a half inches apart. And we're gonna do five today. I'm gonna add five total. Hi, hello. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for the rose. Thank you. Hi guys. Good morning. When you come on in, tell me where you're watching from. We are making a sunflower swag today. So I just added, hey Florida, five pipe cleaners to this 21 inch paint stick. And then I'm going to add some hot glue right in the middle just to reinforce that these pipe cleaners aren't gonna slide down my paint stick. Hey, New Hampshire, Ohio. Hey, New Mexico. All right, so we're just adding a little bit of hot glue. Oh my gosh, it's so cold in my room, it's like steaming. <laughs> cold and snowy in Ohio. Yes, hey, Georgia. I know, guys, I was watching some of the Bills game yesterday. I cannot believe how much snow it was snowing during that game. That was insane. Insane. All right, just adding a little bit of hot glue. Hi, hey, Nancy. Hey, Kentucky. All right, so those are my five pipe cleaners that I added, excuse me, to my 21-inch paint stick and they're about three and a half inches apart. Um, this is a custom order. She literally just placed it on Etsy, paid in full, <laughs> and it's going to be sunflower themed. So I'm gonna grab my 10 inch, this is poly jute, and the uh, plaid is fabric mesh. Um, the poly jute today is from Craft Outlet, and I believe the fabric mesh is as well. If not, I bought it from Hobby Lobby. So one or the other. Hey, thanks so much for the new followers. Where's my OGs at? If you've been here since the beginning, put some purple hearts in the comments so I know you're here. So we're gonna do 20 inch pieces and we need 10 total. So we're gonna do five of the burlap and then five of the plaid. Let me cut one of these off so I don't get. And we're doing these at 20 inches, and this is 10 inch deco mesh. Hi! Hey guys! Hi! You're so welcome. I'm glad you're here today, Texas. Yeah, so all your newbies, um, I'm from the Houston, Texas area. That is where I make my wreaths. I do have an Etsy shop, my name's Southern Owls, so you can shop online if you like something. And I do accept custom orders. You'll just have to message me and um, we can figure that out. I'm so glad Ariel are here. So I'm just cutting out this deco mesh. This is 10 inch and we're doing 20 inch pieces. We're doing five of each color, so that's gonna be 10 total. And we're gonna attach it right to that paint stick. Hi! Oh, there's an OG or hey, I see you. Hi! Pennsylvania. Oh, there's another one. Hey, OG. All right, let me put this over here. 
get it out of the way. And then we're gonna grab our paint stick and start, hey Lisa, start attaching these right to our wreath form. Oh, aloha, I'm so jealous. You're probably like nice and warm in Hawaii with your golden, beautiful tan skin. <laughs> Hi, oh, I'm so jealous. Okay, hold on, I wanna put this one down first. Hey, North Carolina. All right, we are going to do cruffles. So we're just going to take those ends, let them roll in on themselves a few times, pinch the middle, walk your fingers to the other side, and then lay that piece right down into those pipe cleaners and then give it a little twist. Hi, it is cold here. I'm in a hoodie, guys. So yes, that means it's cold for this Texas girl. <laughs> hey, South Carolina. Hi. Okay, so we're going to do every other color, and we are going to add them in um, different directions each time we place it down. So this one's long ways, and then we're going to place this one down sideways. And same thing right into that paint stick. Hi! Stop. It's supposed to snow in Texas. You're joking. Hey, Lubbock. Hey, Colorado. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. No snow. That's That sounds awful. That I'm moving. <laughs> it's a 21 inch paint stick. Um, you can buy at any hardware store. I get mine from Home Depot, um, but you can buy them anywhere that sells paint. Okay, and we're going to add this one in long way since we did the other one sideways. And I just like to tuck my mesh underneath so it's nice and uniformed. And then we're going to take that poly jute. Hi! It's snowing right now in Eastern Kentucky. No, ma'am. No. <laughs> so cold. I like like a light dusting of snow, you know, something that's like, oh, that's pretty. And then it like melts in a couple days. Oh my, I can't imagine like having to shovel snow out of my driveway. I feel like I would just call in sick all the time. <laughs> I call my clients, I can't do your hair today. It's snowing. <laughs> I'm not getting out on this. Um, this deco mesh today is from Craft Outlet. Craft Outlet is an online store based out of Louisiana. Um, and since I live in Texas, uh, their shipping is like so fast. So, like, I'll, I placed an order this morning. I was supposed to do it last night, and I just totally forgot. So, I placed it this morning. Technically, it says it will ship by Thursday, but I know it's going to be here probably tomorrow. Like, they are so fast. Hi! Hey! Hey, North Carolina. Hey, Louisiana. Okay, so this is what the first layer looks like. So, every other color, and then every other direction. And now we're going to do a, another layer. This is 10 inch mesh, 10 inch mesh, and it is cut at 20 inches in length, and we're doing that cruffle method and laying them right down into the pipe cleaners that we added onto our paint stick. Hi, thank you, thanks for answering her, Lisa. Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna let that roll in on itself, walk your fingers to the other side, and then we're going to place that right down on your paint stick. I know, it is a beautiful day here though, guys. I will say that. It's like sunny, there's not a cloud in the sky, but it's chilly. Like, it's too cold for me. Girl, don't, we're not going to talk about the Cowboys game. <laughs> it was a good game it was a good game but no the 40 the 49ers won it's okay it was a good game it was I like good games like that you know at least it wasn't a blowout like some of these playoff games have been it was very it was good an emotional roller coaster game okay so we are going we have two more left Oh, 25 degrees. No. No, 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 no. 
same thing, like that deco mesh roll in, pinch the middle, walk your fingers to the other side, and just lay it right down in. And then I always like to shove those long ones underneath the side ones so stuff isn't flying up everywhere. Oh, thank you so much for the rose. Okay, we're going to, same thing as the last, whoop, last piece. Guys, so y'all know I'm normally in the hair salon on Mondays, right? So you, um, I'm not there today. I'm so, I'm so annoyed. Here's the tea. <laughs> we get a message last night at 6.30 that the salon, because I rent out a studio, is going to be closed all day today. I was so annoyed. So I had to cancel all of my clients and move them. So that's what that's looking like. Two layers of 10 inch deco mesh cut at 20 inches. And we applied them using that cruffle method. All right, let's make a cute bow. I was so annoyed. Thankfully, like all of my clients today were super chill. I kind of felt like they thought I was lying because like who just randomly closes a whole like studios like I, there's like a hundred studios in this building and I just rent one. <laughs> it kind of felt like my clients were like, mm, that's a little far fetched. <laughs> you know, what? actually, I'm going to do the polka dot first. We'll do polka dot, then plaid. OK, let's do six inch tails and then we're going to measure out 10 inches to do two five inch loops and then we're going to cut off at that six inches so i was like well i'll just hop on live today so we're going to make this swag today um i think i want to make another cross today too because i'm still waiting um well i just placed my order so <laughs> i'm waiting on some supplies to get in to finish out um some custom orders so i think i'll do another cross later today I made some pumpkin muffins this morning that were delicious. Uh, <laughs> doing laundry, you know, catching up on stuff. All right, same thing. I'm just holding that in between my thumb and pointer finger. You're a hairstylist, yes. I love it. Same thing, six inches, and we're gonna do the same loops because we're just going to use three ribbons for this bow and this ribbon is two and a half inches or should I say just three colors because we're going to do skinny on top so cute I love this sunflower ribbon so pretty then we're going to grab our one and a half inch and make the center six inches and I am going to shrink those down to nine so the loops will be four and a half inches and just lay those right on top and then we're going to grab the sunflower and the one and a half inch same thing six inch tails two four and a half inch loops and then we're going to do that racetrack loop over my thumb. And that's where, oh, I didn't cut wire off. Uh-oh, this is going to be a hot mess. All right, let me hold this. Get my wire. Yeah, I've definitely decided after this bundle's gone, I'm never buying this stuff again. I'm not doing it. I'm just going to start using cable ties and a pipe cleaner. Okay. Thank you so much for all of, aw, the cross was beautiful. Yeah, I did. Actually, I didn't even sell, I didn't even post it on Etsy. Someone private messaged me and paid for it. I shipped her out this morning. So she's going to her new home. Yeah, she private messaged me and she was like, I need that cross. And I was like, sold. <laughs> sold. So I'm going to start making a few more. And um, I'll get those listed. 
Yeah, if you see something that I make on live and you catch me before I list it on Etsy, I'll totally sell it to you outright. You just got to catch me. All right, guys, we are going to dovetail all of our ends because uh, let's be real, I would rather not pay Etsy a listing fee and all their fees. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the new follows. I really appreciate y'all today. Any new people in here, put some uh, green hearts in the comments if this is your first time watching me today. All right, let's fluff out these. I'm just dovetailing all of these in. So dovetail, you just fold your ribbon in half and cut at an angle, and it just makes your ends look a lot more finished. Oh, hey! Hi, oh, it's your second. Hey, newbies. I'm so glad you found me. Hey guys, my name's Courtney with Southern Owls, and I make and sell reeds. This is my little side hustle. I'm a hairdresser by day, wreath maker by night. <laughs> all right, I think I got them all. Let's see. Is there any hiding underneath here? Oh, hold on, my little, I'm gonna tie this down a little bit tighter into that wire. There we go. Okay. Hi, lots of new guests. Hey guys. I sell all my stuff on Etsy, so if you see something you like, let me know. You can purchase it there, or if you like something I've made on live, you can reach out to me before I post it on Etsy <laughs> and get a hold of it. All right, I'm just fluffing out those loops a little bit, making sure that the ribbon looks good. That tail looks really long. Hold on. Let me manipulate that a little bit. You know, I think, oh yeah, I'm going to cut this one just a little bit. There we go. All right, that's the cute little sunflower bow. Oh, there we go. And then we're gonna put this at the top of the wreath. So, we don't need these pipe cleaners, so I'm gonna cut these off. Push them down. And then thread this wire right through. So fun. I love sunflowers. They're so cute. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for the follows and the likes. I really appreciate y'all. Oh. Just making sure it's in the middle. So I always thread my wire of my bow through that top pipe cleaner that I attached to the paint stick just so I know my bow is not going to go anywhere. And then I just cut off that extra and bend it down. And I'm going to add a little hot glue at the end so that metal won't um, poke your door. Because we don't want any scratches on our doors. So cute. And I'm just fluffing out these loops and the tails. Making sure everything looks good. Cute. Okay. So that's the top. Thank you. So that's what she's looking like. And now we're going to be making some tails. Yes. Yes. I, I add all of my lives to YouTube. It just takes a little while. Because um, normally I add them while I'm at the hair salon because I have better internet there because I live out in the country and we have uh we don't even really have internet honestly guys like I'm living in the stone age we have a hot spot so I normally use the salon's um internet <laughs> um so I won't be posting another YouTube video until Wednesday so but yes I post all my lives on my YouTube channel Southern Owls, you can go follow me there. So we are going to do 
we got four sections left, so I'm doing four of each ribbon. And this is the two and a half inch wired ribbon. And all of my ribbon today is from Craft Outlet, except for the two and a half inch black and white plaid. That's from Michael's. I think I'm just going to do, I'm going to do two of the big ones and then two little ones. Thank you. Hey. I know. You're right. I know. I'm so ready. So ready. I'm so ready. I'm supposed to be getting supplies in today also. Yeah. Guys, I, every like week, I go on to Starlink to see if it's available in my area. And it just says coming soon, 2023, because I, we have, we don't even, like we would have to get satellite internet and guys, like it's not even worth it. You only get so many gigs a month and it's like super expensive and the download and upload speed is ridiculous. Oh, hey Grace, I didn't see you. Oh no, you're on a different thing, right? That's why I didn't understand. Okay, so hey Grace, I'm still waiting. <laughs> Do you have two TikToks? Right? Do you have two TikToks? Okay. Um, I'm still waiting for the grapevine reads to be delivered, and then I'll reach out to you. I thought I was like waiting for your supplies. I was like, same here, girl. <laughs> Oh, you changed it. Okay, cool. All right, now we're going to take that one and a half inch. I'm going to do two of these. You can't change your names on me, guys. I get used to seeing certain names. You can't change it up. <gasps> really? Your power company. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, y'all want to hear the full story on the internet? Y'all, this is this is craziness. I, on the beginning of our county road, we have fiber. And it's through Consolidated. I took pictures of the phone number of these poles and tracked down where the fiber ends, I got so far that a, um, like a, I don't know what, I don't know what they're called, but like a guy who lays down the fiber, like a manager guy calls me and he's like, well, let me pull you up on the map and see. And the fiber, there's a creek on our road and literally the fiber stops at the creek and then that's it. And I'm like, you know, there's like a whole neighborhood over here that doesn't have internet. And he was like, really? Yeah, y'all should y'all should come over. Okay, guys, we're gonna take that two and a half inch wired ribbon, make an X pattern, and I'm going to put it on that bottom section. Give it a few twists, and then I'm gonna grab the plaid and lay it through the middle. And then I'm going to clip it off. I was hunt like we need internet so bad. My my clients at the hair salon laugh all the time when I'm like, um, what are you watching on Netflix? And I'm like, nothing. I can't live. Sh I can't stream. <laughs> they think it's so funny. Okay, we're gonna take another set. Hold it. Oh, I want to do this way hold on like this okay so I'm gonna do opposite of what I did before we're gonna put it in that middle section twist it and then grab the plaid and put it horizontal and then clip off those pipe cleaners and then push them down not really too worried about covering these pipe cleaners because we're going to be adding some um, sunflowers right onto, oh, let me turn on my hot glue gun. 
Okay, so for this, the other two sections, what I want to do is I'm going to lay down the polka dots first as the background because that's the two and a half inch. And then I'm going to grab the one and a half inchers, still with that cross pattern, and put it on top. Give it a few twists, and we're done with that. And tuck that down, and then fluff out these ribbons just a little bit. And then same thing to that section right underneath the bow. We're gonna lay that two and a halfer right horizontally, and then we'll add the one and a half inches. Oh, okay, faded by Gracie. Okay, got it. Got it, girl. You changed yours yesterday? Oh my gosh, guys. I love it. Hey, if, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it. I mean, like I said before, I was originally going to be Courtney's Creations until I put that in Facebook search bar and there was tons, tons of Courtney's Creations. I'm like, nope, I need something really original, way more original than Courtney's Creations. <laughs> okay, how cute. How cute are all those ribbon tails with that bow on here? It is looking so good. So now we're going to add some big sunflowers to it and then a little bit of sunflowers um, right in the bow. I don't even know what you said. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it is hard to figure out your business name. All right, I'm going to grab my little bucket over here. We're going to add these cute little guys. And I think I had a, yeah. I had a spare. Okay. So I'm going to add three of these small ones. I got these from Michael's. I'm going to add three. I'm just going to pluck them right off and add three of those to the bow. And then these are from Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby's sunflowers. I'm just going to peel those off too. Take the plastics off. And then we're going to put these right in that middle section and the bottom section. And then I'm going to add these little guys in my bow. I think, or do I want two on the bottom? I might want two on the bottom. No, I like two up top. Two up top and then one at the bottom. Okay. Let's see if my hot glue gun's ready. T-Mobile is offering... Rural Wi-Fi Internet Now. I'm going to look into that when I get off my live. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to add some hot glue to the back of our flower and then smush it right down in there. Gently. <laughs> smush sound aggressive. More hot glue. And then put it right down. So cute. And then we're going to add a little bit of hot glue to these. I love these little sunflowers that I found at Michael's. I'm going to hold it in place just, just for a second. How cute is this? Susan, are you here? I didn't even look. I should have. I forgot to tell you to put something, some hearts in the comments so I know it was you. Susan purchased this one. She found me through TikTok and messaged me. I totally forgot to tell you to add something. So I knew you were here watching. I'm going to hold these down in place just for a second. Just so I know they're not going to move. I really need to look in T-Mobile. We have a Verizon hotspot. And guys, it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. I have AT, my cell phone's AT&T, and they did something to the cell towers a couple months ago, and all of a sudden, I had 4G, and um, my cell phone started working. So I was like, oh my gosh, 
I can start going live on TikTok because I now have 4G. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, last one. And I'm just adding them right to the ribbon. Do my research on T-Mobile. Okay, I will. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, yeah, girl, this hot glue gun drips. Um, it gets so hot. I love it, though. Like, I, I would never go back to anything else. Um, it gets so hot that it does drip. But I just make sure I turn it on and off, like, all the time. But it does drip. But I love my hot glue gun. So cute. Now I have that, like, song stuck in my head. I'm not going to sing it because I can't sing. But I think when I upload the video of this wreath, I'm going to use that song that's in my head. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut off a little bit of wire or ribbon, thin ribbon. And that's what I use to hang it. I just thread it through that top pipe cleaner. And then tie it a little bit. It's so much better with no cord. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for answering her question. I appreciate y'all. No cord. Yes. Okay. Oh, my gosh, guys. That Hold on. I'm going to have to do a bigger one. I did not do that loop big enough. That's not going to hang on anything. <laughs> That's not going to hang on anything. Okay. Hold on. I got sidetracked reading. I was like, oh my gosh, my, my OG ears are answering the questions and I appreciate that so much. Oh no, I, um, don't worry. I upload all my lives to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to me there, Southern Owls, and this video will be there eventually. I'm a little behind. I'm a little behind on my YouTube videos. They just take so long. I do need to get better. Guys, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. And once you reach a thousand, you they start paying you. I hear it's pennies, but every penny helps, right? I'm like at seven, I think I'm at 750. So I'm so close. And I just started my YouTube channel like... I think in November. So that's going really well. Okay, I'm just letting that dry a little bit. Look how cute she is. I love her. So cute, so fun. And like, this is a wreath that you could literally hang up all year around. I love this. So cute. I'm gonna fluff these tails up a little bit more at the end so you don't see. There we go. The pipe cleaner as much. Look how cute that is. Thank you. Um, I sell my swags for 40 plus shipping. So this one shipped out um, for 20. So her total today was 60. Thank you. Um, I don't I don't hide the pipe cleaners. Thank you. I never cover the back of my wreaths, guys. This is what the back looks like. It's not going to do anything. Like, it's nice. It's flush. It's not going to scratch your door. But I don't cover the back of my wreaths. Thank you. You can totally use it year-round. Yes. Oh, did you see it? I just turned. I didn't even read your thing, and I was on the back. I'll go up closer. So it's really nice. Like, I never worry about covering this because you're not going to see it. And like I've said before, thank y'all, I live in Houston, and if you put felt or anything like that on your back, the back of your reeds, it's going to get moldy immediately. Thank y'all. A cow-themed swag, that would be adorable. That would be so cute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I appreciate y'all. 
Okay, I am going to hop off for just a minute. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to come back, though, um, and make some crosses. I really wish I'm waiting on my yellow deco mesh to arrive because I make some yellow and white ones that are super gorgeous, too. Uh, just some ribbon. I just used some ribbon at, up at the top, and then that's how you can hang it on your door. You want to see it hung on its door? I'll take I'll take good pictures of it in a little bit when I go back to my house. I craft out of my barn, for y'all who don't know. <laughs> uh, since I live out in the country, I'm actually in my barn right now. It had um, it has like a huge room in the back of it, and I turned it into my craft studio when my wreath business took off. Yes, see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, go get a snack and another cup of coffee. <laughs> And I'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. And we'll make a cross in just a little bit. Bye, guys.